Liz Carmouche, welcome to Europe. I understand it's your first time here uh, on this side of the pond. How, how are you enjoying it so far? Uh, so far, I'm loving it. This has been, Prague has been on my, my bucket list for a long time now, so I'm finally getting to make that check. Now, if my calendar's right, you've got a bit of an anniversary this Saturday night, six years to the day since you became the first woman to ever set foot in the UFC octagon. Uh, how proud does it make you feel looking back to have, to have that? You know, people can, you know, records come and go, but there's only ever one first. And that's you. You're never going to be out of the record books because of that. Uh, yeah, and then also this is the first time the UFC is in Prague. It's, it's another one of those history markers, it seems like. I'm fortunate enough to be one of the people who gets to keep doing that for the UFC. And six years on, obviously, you know, you've, you've been here all the way through. And talk to us about some of the, some of the evolution in, in, in the women's game and, and how you've seen the sport evolve and change, especially when it comes to female mixed martial arts. I think the, the biggest thing that I've seen change is the 135 division. If you look at it, it, originally that was the only division that was available and you saw a lot of women just to be a part of the best organization in the world fight at 135 even though it wasn't the correct weight class for them. From 115ers, 125ers like myself, 145ers all moved into that division and now because the UFC has opened it up, that's an evolution of itself. It's just seeing multiple weight classes and women in the correct weight so you see the performances being that much better because now women are in the correct weight classes where they belong, there's more depth to each, each division because now they have the women where they belong and you're seeing great showcases based on that talent. How much of a, an, a performance improvement or a comfort improvement have you seen since you've gone to 125? A huge performance. My body feels that much healthier. I feel faster. I mean, even my last fight, I was... I had a fever, I was super sick, and I still was able to put down my opponent and, and beat her in a higher elevation at that. So that just goes to show that 125 really is a weight class for me. And the division looks wide open right now. You're sort of sitting about, I think you're sixth ranked in the, in, in the division right now. How do you see the, the championship picture in that division right now? And how far away do you think you might be from being able to get a shot at the gold? I think a great performance on Saturday should put me right back in contention for the gold. Brilliant. And how do you how do you break this fight down? Uh, Lucy's obviously got the the extra pressure, perhaps, of having to fight on home soil. Um, you're coming in from from the US. You've got all that experience under your belt already. How do you break this one down? You know, I've seen it going either way, whether it be striking. I'm comfortable when it comes to just standing in the pocket and striking. I'm comfortable going to the ground. I'm, it really, there's no place that I'm not comfortable with this fight. And I've seen it going every way possible as I've envisioned it.